Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. We are now at the stage where we can start welding all this fucking shit together and hopefully it's going to turn out to be a nice fucking car. So the first thing that we need to do before we do anything else is we need to remove this top hinge. Now if you notice real close you can see I took my grinder, my, uh, my little air angle grinder and I grinded a notch down there and right here. And what that's going to do is once I remove that hinge, uh, I'll be able to, once I weld all this back together, uh, I'll use these holes to line everything up because we got to take that piece out of there. That piece has got to come out because we have to reinforce all this structure in here. So, but the situation is, is the problem that we had with this fucking door right here is that this hinge has got to go back on precisely just like it is now. I took my grinder and I grinded a mark there. When I remove that and then I weld all this back together, I'll be able to go ahead and line that hinge exactly where it was and it should fucking fit on exactly the same. So making marks and making notches and this, that, and the other to line parts up is very important when restoring a fucking vehicle such as this. Now another thing I got to do is I'll possibly have to go ahead and remove this itself because behind this box right here there's actually some uh, tabs on there that have to be welded to this side panel. And if you look right there, there's one of them right there and then there's another one that's hidden up inside here uh, somewhere. We can't see it but it's in there, trust me. I've already pre-drilled holes on this panel right here so we can go ahead and sap that on there and it'll be factory original just like the tab over there. And then of course we're going to have to weld our uh, side panel to our rocker panel and we, to access that we'll have to get inside this box right here. So I'll also make a mark right here with my cutting wheel and also I'll make a mark right here. You can see faintly there's an arrow right there that I marked that I got uh, that measurement I got off the other side over here and to make sure that these are both precisely the same so yeah we'll make a mark here we'll also make another mark here and then of course we will make a mark right here to make sure that this lines up back on this it's a it's a marking fucking situation is what it is before we can remove anything to mark everything where it goes. This is a, uh, an air grinder with a, a cutting wheel. You can see the cutting wheel right there. And what we'll do is we're just going to ride right along that edge. Just like that. Then we'll 
will come over here and we'll also mark the inside of this right here if we can get our cutting wheel in there. That's not going to work. We'll have to use another tool for that. But we'll go ahead and mark it right here on the back side where I showed you just like this. Alright. And then, we don't have to take this bottom hinge. We do have to take that bottom hinge out. Motherfucker. So we'll go ahead and mark the bottom hinge as well. Uh, how are we going to mark that? We'll go ahead and use a pen for that, a pencil, a uh, magic marker. We'll take our magic marker and we're going to just kind of draw around our hinge. Because putting this fucking door on was a real fucking bear. And when I say bear, I'm talking very, very, very time consuming. And since we have to remove this one, I'll go ahead and mark around this, just like that. Even though we used our cutting wheel to mark it with, we'll still follow the mark, just so we know where it's at. And then since I can't get my cutting wheel in there, I'll go ahead and mark this. Now here's another situation. Uh, marking these parts is very important. Uh, the reason that I use a cutting wheel, like you saw right here, is because once you start welding and, and touching the parts and moving them around, uh, what's going to happen is that you're going to lose the marker line. So, it, it, in any case possible, try to use your cutting wheel just to make a slight mark. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and mark this as well. So that way we'll know that this lines up right there and everything will line up properly. And I think that uh, the situation is we can go ahead and remove all this Get it out of the way so we can start welding. Alright, before I remove our A pillar slash hinge post out of the car, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more crucial mark. And I'm going to go ahead and circle right here uh, where these self tapping screws are. That's going to help me line that back up precisely where it was before we remove this, if that makes any sense. Because I actually have moved this several fucking times, believe it or not. And we want to make sure that uh, the screws go right back into the holes that we take them out of. Okay. Once that's done, we can go ahead and remove our post out of the car. And this is called a hinge post and an A-pillar. Now, the reason that uh, you would call this an A-pillar, we're going to go ahead and explain that, is because this is in the front. All right, so if you hear somebody say A pillar, A as in letter A, and then pillar, P-I-L-L-A-R, that means that's the front hinge post. And then, of course, the B pillar would be back in this area here. I don't know if you can see that uh, right here where the door latches on. This would be your B pillar section. And then, of course, if it's a four door, then it would be your C pillar. And if, if you have a limousine that's got five fucking doors on it, A, B, C, D, E, F, U, C, K, do you see what I'm saying here? So it's just a, 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 an elimination of going through the alphabet and saying, hey, look what we fucking did. We named these fucking things, and that's the name of them from the factory. Wow! And then we'll remove this one up here. And now that we removed all our screws, we can go ahead and shimmy all this out of here. Hopefully it'll come out easily. And I see it's not really coming out that easy. I'm going to have to get some screws up here loose. Because we're going to go ahead and take this panel off as well. So we'll take our pry bar lightly, pry it out. And there you go. We have now removed the top section, which would be our windshield post here, if you were to buy this piece, that would be one fucking section, but uh, we went with the used angle instead. And now we can go ahead and remove our uh, 
hinge post slash A pillar out of the car. And uh, yeah, that looks good. I like that. And so now what we have done is turned our fucking air off because that's irritating, motherfucker! I'm sorry. I just had a Tourette's moment there. The fucking air was pissing me off. Uh, what we can do now is we can go ahead and weld this side panel in here. But before we do all that, we have got to remove this panel here because remember this was two panels. Do you remember that? And uh, what we're going to have to do to remove that is that we're going to have to put a floor jack in the front to hold our front up because we got to remove this brace off of here that's holding that together. It's a fucking domino effect. It's a jigsaw puzzle. It's a, it's a, it's a fucking ham and cheese sandwich situation. Uh, you got your cheese right here. Your ham is over there. Uh, your bologna was this piece right here, and, and your day old fucking bread was right here. Okay, you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a sandwich. So now we got to remove some, the bolts up there to get our outer cowling off. We have got to remove that because we have got to weld the inner cowling to the fucking car before we can go any farther. So once again, what I'll do is I will mark where my screws are. Fuck ass! I'm sorry, I just had a Tourette's fucking moment there. Go ahead and mark where I had my screws. Uh, that way we know that that's going to go right back on where it was. And uh, that's the real main fucking situation here is that you get all this fucking shit lined back up like it was. So once again, I'm taking a, a, a fucking magic marker here and I'm circling around the screw holes so I know that the screws on our cowling are going to go right back into the same spot. I got a floor jack holding the front end of the vehicle here. What I'll do is I'll uh, release my brace temporarily. All right, we're just going to do that temporarily. Yes. And now we can go ahead and remove our upper cowling or inner outer cowling, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Go ahead and remove the screws out of that. Once again, those can be a bitch. Believe it or not, the structure that you're looking at right here, this piece right here, uh, this actually is a main structure of the car that actually holds the front end together. This actually holds the firewall to the body. Uh, once you weld all this in right here and then this piece here together, this piece, this one piece right here, holds all of this together and makes it the unibody car. So. This is a very, very important piece on the Mustang, is this uh, upper cowling fucking panel. And you can see as I'm taking it apart, the cowling has actually moved. But we have got to get up under this cowling to spot weld, we have got to be able to spot weld the bottom one to the uh, side panels and the firewall before we can put this in. So we'll go ahead and slide this out of here nice and easy, just like so. And if you look at it, you can see that I actually primed and painted this piece before I put it in the car. Uh, we don't want this to rust out anymore. This was Mustangs, uh, Fords, this was one of Ford's major fallbacks right here. What you're looking at right here is that when they put these cars together, they were bare metal, and then when they went to paint them, no paint would get inside this. So if you're replacing yours, uh, you don't have to paint it red. I just did that so when we look into the car itself after it's already concourse restored that my friend Pete does, the fucking way I do it, I don't want to have to look at an angle and see bare metal or primer. Plain and simple, that's the way it is, and if you do it the fucking right way, then you'll be doing it my friend Pete fucking way. So we want to go ahead and check our holes and make sure that nothing on
on the front end loop, and I see that that's still lined up, which is good. But I also notice if you look real close, and this is where the structure comes in, you can see that the whole fucking car is moving uh, just from not having that upper cowling on there. So, I mean, even looky right here, do you see what I'm saying? All right. So that is a real, real important situation right there to make sure that everything is precise and lined up. Uh, we will now proceed to start welding our panels to the vehicle and hopefully when we get done everything will be lined up so we can start bolting the parts on and getting that precisely lined up and uh, moving down the line on our 1968 Mustang Rustang Frankenstein fucking car. Classes don't stop till you know everything.